Here are the top five best purchases you can make in your 20s. Within your 20s, this is a pivotal decade where the choices you make can have a big impact on your future. So let's dive into key areas where wise investments can lead to a brighter tomorrow. For example, click the subscribe button down below. But out of all seriousness, there's a long-term saying that you should invest now and shine later on down the line, which brings us down to number one, investing. This is pretty straightforward. Investing in index funds is a popular and effective way to build a diversified investment portfolio. Index funds are a type of mutual fund or exchange trade fund, or short name for ETF. It aims to replicate the performance of a specific market index, for example, a lot of ones that everyone heard of, the S&P 500. And there's a lot of different types of index funds, not just the majority, like VT Sachs, and there's smaller ones depending on the brokerage you go with. By holding the same securities as the same proportions as the index itself, you can help go against inflation, which unfortunately, if you look at the current market right now, inflation is really sky high. Investing is a way to break that trend and potentially generate wealth down the line. Which brings us the most important thing that you or everyone else in general should have, which is emergency savings. This one's pretty straightforward. Emergency savings can help you cope with a lot of things as I mentioned on this channel, job loss or unexpected medical bills, like America's medical bills and my whole entire medical system is totally unjustified, but that's another topic for another day. So financial experts really typically recommend saving up between three to six months worth of necessary expenses in order to have a healthy, fully funded emergency account. So there's not really a specific number that a person in their 20s need to have in their emergency fund. It should be really be based on your necessity monthly expenses. So see what you need and adjust accordingly. For example, for me, I'm a lot slower to get off, you know, get off the sinking ship. So. Personally, I would spread mines up to between six months to a year. A lot of people say three to six months. That's assuming that everything that works fine for you, for example, your mental health, your physical ability, whether or not you're, you can get moving quickly. I mean, it really depends on the person. There's a lot of factors into it and adjust accordingly to yourself, which brings us down to number three, retirement savings. So retirement really will seem far off when you're early in the 20s, but this is actually the best time for you to start because the sooner you start saving, the brighter your retirement years will be. Contributing to retirement accounts where it like 401k or a IRA in your 20s will harness the magic of compound interest. Now, your money grows significantly over time and starting early gives the time it needs to flourish. The best example that you can really see in person and for everyone to really notice is if you are within your 20s and you think about back then when you are in elementary school days, think about gas money. Gas money back then was less than a dollar. It was literally less than a dollar within the 2000s and into 1990-ish. Within the 1990s, you see gas is like, wow, it's less than a dollar. And, and like throughout the years, it goes up to 2005, 2006, 2007, and all the way up in the 2010s and now 2020s. You see gas keeps going up, up, and up. That's like a perfect example on how compound interest will work. And this will apply to retirement savings and investing, which breaks us down to number four, health and wellness. Because if you're not healthy and you're not well, then everything's out there, all these don't matter because your health is the most valuable asset after all. Investing in your physical and mental well-being pays off not just in the present, but also in the long run. So let's say, for example, you want to buy some gym equipment. You can do so to maintain a healthier lifestyle, which help you out in the long run. Things such as regular exercise, a balanced diet, and preventative health care actually can save you money by reducing future medical expenses and ensuring better quality of life, which not many people think about in the long run. So if you think about it, America has the most obese people in the world. And think about all the money being made for all those medical bills on all those drugs being created. You don't want to be part of that system. So you want to gain the system and not give money to those people who are creating drugs and purposely jacking up the price. Of course, this is another topic for debate, which brings us down to the last and final one. Number five, education and skill development. Now, this is just as important as the rest also, because if you invest in 
your education and skill development, it's like planting seeds for a bountiful harvest. Meaning is whether you're pursuing a degree, acquiring certifications, or learning new skills. This investment pays dividends by opening doors for better opportunities and higher earning potential down the road. So let's say you don't want to be a business owner like I mentioned many times in this channel. You want to work for somebody else and get a high paying job. And this is the road that you should also take. Even you're a business owner, you should always continue to learn. So overall, in conclusion, within your 20s, this is the great time of great potential and opportunity by making wise investments in education, emergency savings, retirement, health, and personal development. You're not just spending money, you're investing in a brighter and more secure future. So this is the perfect time to seize your moment and make these smart choices and watch your life flourish. Thank you for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button down below and a like button and have a great day.